Oh, hey there, guys. Hi. Did you find my friend's dump truck? No, I'm afraid I didn't. Nobody's been able to find it. I'm really sorry, Gobi. Tell you what. You boys go enjoy the rodeo, and afterwards, we'll see what we can do, okay? Okay. Thank you. Come on, Gobi. Let's watch from over there. Now let's put on those hard hats and get this rodeo started. What do you say, Mr. G? I say, yee-haw! Because it's time to haul some dirt with the dump truck! Like. Yes! Yes, it is! Get ready for El Dodo! <laughs> now, El Dozer's gonna push those piles of dirt into those holes! Yeah, El Dozer! Cool, Hugo! Yeah. They're going to use the crane to try and grab Gobi's dump truck before El Dozer buries it! We need your help. When the scoop is right over Gobi's dump truck, say, now! Now! My dump truck! Thanks, Gil. <laughs> You're welcome. So, the wildlife ranger set off to rescue Eli the elephant and bring him home to his mom. Don't worry, he won't get far as long as I'm driving. Yeehaw! You're gonna be so excited when you see your surprise, little buddy. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Better leave the driving to me. <laughs> hey, we're being chased. Well, if they want to chase, we're going to give it to them. Hang on, Eli! <laughs> Is he trying to cross the mud flats in that dinky truck? Oh, yeah. We've got him now. <laughs> oh, Eli. I just love playing in the mud. But I hate getting dirty. Activating Mega Wheel. Woo! <laughs> through all this mud. Zuli, turn on the wipers. Yikes, they're jammed. Hang on! Oh! Elephant car wash! The rangers had almost caught up to Spotty the hyena, but now he was driving straight toward a river. I just love taking a dip. Wow! That's one tricked out truck. <laughs> Woo! Woo! We lost them. How are we going to cross?
across this river. It's too deep. Do lions live in the savannah? Yes. Roar! Roar. Ah! How are Hello you doing? there. Friendly lions? Yup, we're friendly. Are you trying to cross the river? Yes! We've got to rescue a baby elephant and get him home to his mom. Well, the water's too deep to cross here. Animals on the savanna cross the river at a special place, where the water is shallow. That means the bottom of the river comes up close to the top. It's around here somewhere. But we're gonna need your help to find it. We need to cross the river at a spot where it's safe for animals to walk. Which one of these is shallow and easier for animals to cross? Is it this part, this part, or this part? The shallow part! Right there! Yes! That's where animals like zebras, gazelles, and giraffes cross the river. Thanks for your help! Now, we need to make this secret recipe before General Yuck yuckifies every planet in the galaxy. But how? All the food on Planet Yum is rotten now. They have everything we need at the Meteor Mini Mart. We'll just fly a spaceship there and buy some. Great idea. But we don't have a spaceship. I do. That old thing? This old thing will get you to the Mini Mart in less than 12 parsnips. Or my name isn't Galaxy Gill. Wowzers. Ooh. Buckle up, everyone! Hang on! It's the Yuckaroni! Oh, no! <laughs> we can't let her get this recipe! <laughs> Hang on tight! Tell you, piece of cake. Greetings, space travelers, and welcome to our Meteor Mini Mart. We may be small, but we got it all. So, what can we help you with? We need ingredients to make secret moon muffins. I think we have these ingredients but we're going to need your help. To make this recipe, we need two eggs, Martian spice, and three bananas. Which card has three bananas? That card! The green one! That's right! Thanks for your help! You should have everything you need for the recipe. Thanks! Good luck making the secret moon muffins. The Guppy Express was chugging along on its way to Big Bubble City, but Una's pet Bubble Kitty was missing. Here, Kitty. Oh, oh my! Where are you? Pardon me, Miss. I just heard that you lost your kitty. I am Inspector Nani, and this is my assistant, Bubble Puppy. Inspector Nani. I've heard of you. You're a world-famous detective. Convenient, isn't it? I'm Miss Una. Could you please help me find Bubble Kitty? Finding lost pets is what we do. I just don't know where she could be. Well, we're on a moving train, and we haven't stopped yet. 
which means she is still on board. Oh, thank goodness! We must search each train car before we reach our next stop. If the train doors open, she could run away. <gasps> Please tell us anything about your kitty that may help us find her. Well, she loves to drink milk. Where on this train could a kitty find milk? We're going to need your help. There's milk for Bubble Kitty in the train car where people go to eat. Do people go to eat in the baggage car, the quiet car, or the dining car? That one! The dining car! Yes, the dining car is where Bubble Kitty would find milk. Thanks for your help. We need to head to the dining car. Lead the way, Bubble Puppy. Aha! The dining car. Finally! A nice place to sit and read. Okay, folks, who ordered the... Whoa, whoa! Mashed potatoes? So sorry about that, ma'am. Here, let me clean up that mess. Whoa. Oh, dear. Whoops! Well, I don't see Bubble Kitty anywhere, but I do see mashed potatoes. Pardon me, sir. Just another tunnel, folks. No need to. Panic? Okay, well, carry on. Good morning, passengers. This is your captain speaking, and I'd like to thank you for flying Whoopsie Daisy Airlines. Did she say Whoopsie Daisy? <laughs> Whoopsie Daisy! <laughs> Sorry about that. So, what takes you to Japan? Our puppy is lost, and we think there's something there that will help us find him. Your puppy? Oh, no! I wish I had a puppy. I'll get you there as fast as I can. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. <laughs> Whoopsie-daisy! I think Japan might actually be that way. Everybody, we're good at finding that puppy of yours. We all have moments when we wander away. Turns out we went when we should have stayed. My puppy's lost and he needs to be found, so he shouldn't take too long. We've got this plane to go where we need to go. We've got the brains to know what we need to know. We've got the eyes to search high and low. was a submarine called the SS Friendship. Its crew was almost done with an important mission, delivering singing bubblegrams to friends under the sea. Because today was Friendship Day. Hmm. Come all you young guppies all over the sea. You're all good friends to me. Friendship Day wishes we sing unto thee. Good friends we always shall be. That was the last delivery. Next stop, 
the really big friendship day party. Ahoy, Captain Demo. Happy Friendship Day. Happy Friendship Day, Admiral Grouper. Captain Demo, we have a Friendship Day emergency. We still have three more bubble grams to deliver, and we're running out of time. I need you and your crew to deliver them right away. Aye, aye, Admiral. You can count on us. Great. Your first stop is a tide pool at the top of the ocean. Then you'll dive a bit deeper to a coral reef. And then way down deep to the darkest part of the ocean, the Midnight Zone. Tide pool, coral reef, Midnight Zone, got it. Oh, uh, just make sure you don't bump into any krakens along the way. Kraken? Isn't that a sea monster? It sure is. Good luck, crew. I really hope we don't bump into a kraken. Don't worry, Gil. Our sub is really fast. It's got super duper deep sea hyperspeed. Now let's finish this mission so we can get to the Friendship Day party. Aye, aye, Captain. And so, the SS Friendship was off on its way to quickly deliver three more bubble grams. Tide pool is an area of seawater filled with small animals. Ahoy, mateys! Happy Friendship Day! Happy Friendship Day to you, too! Tide pool experts Una and Nani, we have something special for you today. Heard it, Gil! Come all you young guppies all over the sea, you're all good friends to me. Friendship Day wishes we sing unto thee, good friends we always shall be. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Paramedic Skill and Zuli here. I need your help. Ouch, I have a boo-boo on my thumb. Oh, no! So I can't play my instruments, and I have to put on a concert tonight. Can you come right away, please? I'm on Mythical Island. Sure we can! Whether your boo-boo's big or small, we'll always be there to answer your call! <laughs> Thank you. We're here, and Mythical Island is all the way over there. We have to find a quick way to get to Nani so we can help him. Hmm. If we fly across Monster Island, we should be there in no time. Monster Island? But we might run into monsters! Like giant titans that control the weather, minotaurs with big horns, or a huge one-eyed cyclops! It's the fastest way, Gil. It's an emergency, and we're the only ones who can help. Don't worry, we have lights, a siren and a flying chariot. Hang on, Nani. Help us on the way. So the paramedics took off. But they still had to get across Monster Island. Smooth sailing so far. Maybe this trip won't be so scary after all. Of course. The ocean seems pretty calm now. But the giant waves come every time you sing and dance, right? Start playing your music again and let's see what happens. Maybe we could just have a nice bowling party instead? Play. Wowzers! A really 
really big sea animal with a really big tail just did that. But which sea animal can make waves that big? We're going to need your help. Which two of these animals live in the ocean? The octopus, the seagull, the blue whale, or the iguana? These two! The octopus and the blue whale! Right! Now, which of these animals has a tail that can make really big waves? The blue whale! Yeah! Blue whales have really big tails called flukes, just like the one we saw. So a blue whale must have made those waves. Thanks for your help! Okay, so now we know what's been making those great big waves. But we still need to figure out why. Everyone, sing and play. I love my life on an island. Surfing seals and the dolphins dive in. causing the waves. Ah! A blue whale. But they still didn't know why. Oh! Maybe we should get out of here before a wave comes. Guys, there's nothing to be scared of. Blue whales are actually very peaceful and gentle. Watch. Yoo-hoo, Miss Blue Whale. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to rock you. I'm Lulu. I'm Zuli, queen of the Shimmy Shimmy Islands. And these are my friends. <laughs> We're, um, trying to have a party, but huge waves keep splashing on us whenever we start singing and dancing. Are you the ones making that music? I'm such a big fan. I just love your song. It's time to pack your bags before we hit the road. We got some new places to see. He Above the ground, away we go, sail across the sea. Ooh, oh, away we go. We're gonna need a map just to get us there. To make sure we don't get lost. Can't get lost. We'll stop at every city and we'll see our friends. They'll be waiting for us when we get off. And away we go as the wheels go round. We go fast and slow, we go up and down. Bus, a boat, or in a plane, on a rocket ship so very high into the sky. And away we go as the wheels go round. We'll make all our stops from town to town. Away we go, flying through the sky as the clouds go by. Away we go, away we go as we cruise along. It's just you and me and our favorite song. Away. Right. We're going to need big fat tires to drive on all of that sand. Excuse me. What time is it? It's time, time for, for lunch. lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch! What time is it? It's time for lunch! What time is it? It's time for lunch! It's lunch time! Hey, what's for lunch? Hey, Agent Una, what'd you get for lunch today? I got a veggie burger with barbecue sauce. What did you get, Agent Gobi? I got a cheeseburger with spicy sauce. What did you get, Agent Nani? I got a burger with secret sauce? <laughs> Secret sauce? That's silly. And secret. <laughs> what brings you to our secret hideout, Agent Nani? I have some very important messages for you from Mr. G. 
Agent Una, thank you. Agent Gobi, thanks. <laughs> it's really hot and dry here in the desert, and there are a lot of huge piles of sand called dunes. I better get going. I... Surprising. Everybody keeps disappearing. Come on. Let's see if we can find them. We're being followed again. I wonder who they are. It's time to use my camera goggles. They have pictures on their helmets. Let's see if the computer can find out what they are. Hello. I think it's time to get out of here. a close one. Phew. I hope we don't see them again. Uh, well, then you better drive faster. Cause they're right behind us. <gasps> oh no! Maybe they're mad about their bikes getting knocked over. What should we do? Look, let's hide in that canyon. Hang on. Lost them. Lost who? Ah! Oh, sorry to startle you. What's happening? Get it? Hop, 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 hop. I'm a jackrabbit. <laughs> well, we're trying to deliver ice cream to the oasis. Ice cream? In this heat? Good luck with that. The ice cream is starting to melt. It's too hot out here. We need to cool down. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. On really hot days like this, find some shade. Shade happens when an object blocks the sun. It's cooler in the shade than it is in the sunlight. Look at all that shade, Gilly. We just need to find a spot big enough to park the truck in. We need your help. We need to find a shady spot so we can cool down our truck. Which shady spot is the largest? This one? This one? Or this one? That one, right there. That's it. Our whole truck is in the shade. Thanks for your help. Phew, it's so much cooler under here. Yeah, the ice cream alarm isn't beeping anymore. But it's not as cold as it was. We need to get this ice cream to the oasis. Lickety split! <laughs> Thanks, Jackrabbit Timo! Happy to help! Get it? Hop, hop. Hop, hop. Wow, mm, what a sandwich! The Baron will definitely want to taste that. The Taste Buddies are back in business. Let's go! And so, the Taste Buddies hurry to bring their tasty sandwich to the Baron. Stop right there. We're looking for the Baron. Tell him the Taste Buddies are here. We've got something tasty for him to try. The Taste Buddies. Again? I told you, I'm not trying anything. Huh? Well, what if it was made with your favorite food, bland bread? Bland bread? Really? We call it a sandwich. <gasps> Sandwich. 
Looks tasty. Yeah, if you're not going to try it, I will. Stop! I'm coming down. I'm coming. Wait a minute. I'm coming. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. But just one bite. So? It's... Tasty! <laughs> This is the best thing I've ever tasted. Oh, tasty! <laughs> so, can I have a bite? Well, uh, uh, yeah! We want tasty food, too! Do you have more food? We only made one sandwich. Well, I want a bite. Yeah, I've never had anything tasty. Well, I could eat. We need more tasty food. Did someone call for some tasty food? Cause we've got all the tastes. Sweet, salty, bitter, sour. And you can call me Umami Nani. I'm hard to define, but always delicious. Bubble Puppy. Bubble Puppy! <gasps> Did you hear that? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> <Hi>, Puppy! <laughs> but where's Bubble Puppy? Bubble Puppy! Welcome to the Temple of the Lost Puppy! Bubble Puppy! Bubble, bubble Puppy! <laughs> I was so worried about you, boy. Me too. I knew you would come. You must be the guardian of the lost puppies. Yes, I am. It's my job to take care of them until they are found. All these puppies are lost? I'm afraid so. But finally, they can go home. Hear that, puppies? We're going to take you all home. But we must leave at once. Leave? How come? Hello, volcano! Home. You got it! We'll take these puppies back where they need to go. Back to their homes and families, the folks they know. So they can run and play, bark and grow. Puppies heading home. Hold on, there, here we come. Puppies heading home. Hang in there, puppies. Puppies heading home. We've seen the mountains, we've seen the sea.
was close. We better deliver our produce before Rotten Tomato turns it all rotten. Produce means fruits and vegetables. So the farmers hurry to deliver their fruits and vegetables to the farmer's market on Produce Planet. Here's the lettuce. And here are the oranges, perfectly ripe. Not again. Rotten tomato! Time to rot and roll, dudes. My lettuce. My oranges! <laughs> Let's get out of here before he makes everything rotten. I think we lost him. Farmer Nani, prepare to jump to super space. Space supermarket ahead, Farmer Gobi. And so, the space farmers went to the space supermarket to deliver their produce. We have to put everything in the right places. Green vegetables go here. And radishes are red, so they go here. Warning! Rotten tomato approaching. It's found us! We need your help to match the last of the vegetables with the right color before Rotten Tomato gets here. These are the eggplants. Do they go here or here? Potatoes go here. We did it. Warning, rotten tomato is here. <laughs> no, please don't make our fruit run. Don't ruin our ripe produce. <laughs> Your what produce? Ripe. Right. Here, try some. That's that's. So delicious! Mm-hmm! Oh, 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 what have I done? I don't want to make things rotten anymore! I want to make rotten things ripe! You can help us grow more fruits and vegetables, if you want to. Yes! And so, Rotten Tomato and the Space Farmers became friends. And together, they grew the best produce in the galaxy. Everything is so perfectly ripe. Well, except for me. I'll always be rotten. <laughs> <laughs> Look, some customers. You got it, sir. One single scoop of mint chocolate fish, please. A single scoop means one scoop. Here you go, a single scoop. <laughs> what happened? Tiger, Tiger shark! shark! Let's get out of here. Oh, that was a close one. Let's find somewhere else to serve our ice cream. So they drove their ice cream sub to find some other dolphins. What can I get for you today? One double fish ripple coming right up. Double means two. There's one scoop and two. A double. Here you go. But once again. Lost him. 
That was a close one. Let's look for some customers someplace else. So the sailors found customers somewhere else in the ocean. Okay, that's two singles. And for you, sir? A double. Certainly, sir. We need your help. Which one of these cones is a double? Remember, double means two. That one! That one has two scoops! Right. This ice cream cone is a double. Here you go! And for you, sir? Tiger Shark! <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, sir? Yeah, why are you crying? I just wanted some ice cream too, but you keep going away. We're sorry. We're happy to get you some ice cream. <laughs> and so, the submarine sailors gave the tiger shark some delicious ice cream. One single vanilla fish. Open wide, please. Mamma mia! <laughs> Back at Solar Power Headquarters. Okay, everything's ready. All our extra batteries are fully charged. Perfect! The light show's gonna need a ton of power, so we might need those extra batteries. Solar Power Headquarters! Train Conductor Molly here. We've got a big problem. We lost power. And our train is stuck in the station. Lost power? How did that happen? We've never lost power in Solar City before. There's a lot of passengers taking the train to Dima's light show tonight. They don't look very happy. Oh, what's going on here? Always when I'm in a hurry. We're on our way. Please hurry. Attention passengers. Solar power workers Gobi and Nani are on their way here to help. Oh, I hope they get here soon. <laughs> Come on! Solar power workers, here to help. Great! Here's the control panel that runs the trains. Hmm, this isn't right. We're gonna need your help. Something's missing from the control panel. Which of these things fits into this space? Is it this light bulb, this steering wheel, or this battery? That one! The battery! Yes, the battery is missing. The train needs the battery for energy. Without that, the train can't work. Thanks for your help. Who would take the train's battery? I don't know, but this backup battery should do the trick. Ooh, you did it! Thank you! Thanks. You're welcome. Solar, Solar power, power workers, workers, here to help. help. Stop, look and listen When you come to the side of the road With a sign or a traffic light There's a couple little rules to know To walk to the other side A car should stop when they see a stop sign Or when the light turns red But always use your eyes and ears Before you go ahead Stop, look and listen When you want to cross the street yeah, stop, look, and listen before you pick up your feet. Just take a grown-up's hand so it's safe to cross the road. First we stop, look, and listen, then we go. For cars and for bikes, pedestrians too. The rules of the road protect me and you. Make sure to learn how each of them works before you step out. Safety first. Through cities, towns, and parks, all kinds of places worldwide. These signs help keep us safe when we explore outside. Oh, stop, look, and listen when you want to cross the street. Yeah, stop, look, and listen before you pick up your feet. 
Just take a grown-up's hand So it's safe to cross the road First we stop, look and listen Almost Stop, look and listen Not yet Stop, look and listen Okay, now we can go We've got to get to the Bahamas before Windy Pete does I know a shortcut The Panama Canal so the ocean patrol sailed to the Bahamas where it was still hot and sunny. Just like it's supposed to be. Looks like we got here before Windy Pete. Captain, look. Here he comes. Let's hide the ship so we can surprise him. The line is still up towards the top. Arr, it's warm here, too. Well, it is another tropical climate, Captain. <laughs> Arr, me poor parrot Polly is already sweltering in this heat. <sighs> Prepare the snow cannon. Yo, Yo ho, 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 and, and a, a big, big blast of whoa! Ocean Patrol! And friends, we're here to stop you. Yar! You'll never stop Windy Pete! <laughs> Bubble Puppy! Bubble Puppy! He's been turned into a popsicle. Is he okay? <laughs> Your snowy days are over, Windy Pete. Never! Pyranuna, crank the snow cannon up to ten! Shiver their timbers! I said shiver their timbers! No, Captain. I'm not going to help you anymore. Una? It's time to stop your wintry ways, Windy Pete. Once and for all. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Please let me go. I am sorry for freezing everything, but... All this tropical heat is bad for me, poor parrot. Parrot? <laughs> um, that's not a parrot. It's a penguin. Huh? Deep in the Amazon, there were two umbrella sellers who were on their way to sell their umbrellas in the rainforest. Isn't this great, Gilly? Yeah, if you like hot, buggy rainforest. Hey, Captain, how much farther? Shouldn't be long now. What'd you two say you were planning to do again? We're going to sell umbrellas. Everyone in the rainforest should have an umbrella. Uh, yep. I'll be sure to take you to the rainiest part then. Great, then we'll be able to sell all of these umbrellas and then go right back home to the city. Ugh, shoo! What's all that stuff? This bug spray. That sunscreen, some more bug spray, lion spray. <laughs> Gilly, I told you, there aren't any lions in the rainforest. She's not a lion. <laughs> so they continued on into the rainiest part of the rainforest. Here we are. There should be a good spot in there to set up your umbrella stand. Real rainy around here. Bug! A lot of bugs around here, too. Better get used to it. There are a lot of insects in the rainforest. Oh, we're not going to be here long. We'll be back just as soon as we sell our umbrellas. Okie dokie. See you soon, friends. So the umbrella sellers set up their stand and got ready to sell their umbrellas. Did 
you hear that? I think it's gonna rain. Good. Let's sell these umbrellas as fast as we can, and then we can go home. <laughs> umbrellas! Umbrellas for sale! a few moments, ladies and gentlemen, we should be able to see the trains again as they come back around for the finish line. into a little trouble. There's a herd of cows on the tracks. Quick, Molly, blow the whistle. What's the matter? Oh, no. We lost our whistle. It must have fallen off back there somewhere. Oh, no. The other trains are coming. What are we going to do? Bubble Bobby. Wait a minute. It looks like, yes, the little bubble doggy is running back along the tracks to pick up old number nine's whistle. Thanks, Bubble Puppy. I better get this on quick. <gasps> here comes Mighty Miss. And here comes the Superliner. Get out of the way, cows. Please. Almost finished. There. Quick, pull the cord. Pull the cord with me. Put your arm up like this and pull. Ready? Pull. All clear. Let's go. And old number nine has cleared the tracks and is on her way to the finish line. But it's going to be close because here comes Mighty Miss in second, followed by the Superliner coming up fast. The trains are almost neck and neck. Old number nine still in first position with the Superliner passing Mighty Miss. Come on, old girl. You can do it. And the Superliner is gaining fast. This is going to be incredibly close. And it's all number nine, the winner of the Triple Drag Train Race. Congratulations, old number nine. <laughs> Thanks, kid.
kids, we couldn't have done it without you. Snow Squad Go! So the Snow Squad hurried down the mountain to Snow Squad headquarters, where they kept their supplies. All get the sleeping bags. Huh? something to help us melt the ice on the door. Let's see what we've got in the squad mobile. We need your help. We need something that will melt the ice quickly. Which one of these will melt the ice? A shovel? A fan blowing warm air? Or a hat? The fan. Warm air. Yeah, the warm air from the fan will melt the ice. Let's try it. Thanks for your help. Okay, here we go. Switching it to warm. It's melting. Just a little more. Okay. Got the sleeping bags. Now let's go help those snowboarders before it gets too cold. Snow Squad, go! So the Snow Squad hurried back up the mountain to bring sleeping bags to the snowboarders. Never fear. The, the snow, snow Squad is here. here. Here you go, one warm sleeping bag. Thank you. I just wish we knew who took the other one. I'm telling you, it was the Yeti. Gil, I've been all over this mountain and I've never seen a Yeti. There's no such thing. was coming in, but so was Fogzilla. my birthday. Wait, Fogzilla, it's my birthday too. It is? Uh-huh, let's celebrate together. I've got a really big birthday cake. Birthday cake? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.
ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Bubble Guppies YouTube channel for new videos every week. And watch full episodes on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel.